Night of Majesty. I know that, or I feel that, that night is when your prayers are being answered. So you try as much as possible to attend it and have faith and pray on the night of Kojere Day. The night of Kojere is a is a night where the whole Quran was revealed to the Prophet of Salam. And aside that, is a night that any Muslim who is able, according to the Prophet of Salaam, that any Muslim who is able to meet the night, probably supplicating for forgiveness, supplicating for something good, whatever, Allah is going to accept it. So it is, it is advisable for every Muslim to, to look towards that night, to strive towards that night, mostly last 10 days of the Ramadan. So it is very important that you know that night we are able to meet it. Um, not just meeting it, not just sleeping, but supplicating, sincere supplication, sincere istig for. And I understand, as some scholars understand, that if our, we are forgiven, all other things will put, you know, come in place. Yeah, I think I can't. I'm not so sure, but I think he's denied that the prophet ascended. I'm not so sure, but I know that night during Ramadan. It's a night where your destiny, is at, um, your destiny can be changed for the better. Allah Akbar. Salam. Allah Akbar. Lila Tukod. Lila Tukod. Night of Majesty. Night of Majesty. Salam. You know, that night... Hmm, you know, as Ramadan is on now, we see many people that are not even Muslims. They all want to fast with us. Simply because they honor that month. In fact, oh, I don't know what to say again. Because it's full of full of blessing. You shed tears while you are in gardens of people praying. You know, you, in fact, you're not asked what you've done before, but you'll be, you know, you'll be confessing. You start telling Allah what you have done. And from there, you know, you feel remorse. You want to be born again. For you won't think of, you know, going back to Allah and come back that same day again. You know, like revert, you understand? So something like that. So the of Qadr was the, the night that is Allah says Khurim al shahr is better than a thousand months. So the, the worship on that night equates the worship you do if, if you're going to calculate in, in I mean years, human years, it's three years or so. So it really is a night that people, everyone looks forward to. And I think it, it's also the night that the, the Quran was first revealed to Prophet when he was in the cave of Hira, when he was talking about you know how the angel came to him and then started Iqra, this part of the Lady Khalaq. There was the first verse in the Quran that was revealed. It was also revealed on the night of Lady Qadr as well. So Lady Qadr is a is a night I I can't, I can't wait to have it inshallah in the coming Ramadan inshallah. Okay, Lady Qadr is just a, 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 um, a night, a night of majesty that you tend to you are confident that whatever you say it whatever you say is being heard. You are confident to pour out your heart, your heart out there to just see whatever is you want to see. Uh, Leilatul Qadr is the is a special night in Ramadan, the last ten days of Ramadan. That um, Allah says is better than one thousand nights. Uh, so so that, that's all I know. I, it's, a night in the last 10 days of Ramadan that Muslims are supposed to look forward to like, you know, pray that you are able to meet Allah to the country and whatever prayer you make during that time, you know, it's better than 
a thousand months. I think a thousand months or so. My last Okoji is the Night of Majesty. It was the night where um, the Quran was um, sent down to the Prophet. So um, it's a very special night where um, any prayer you say, it's like easy, easy access to Allah. Uh, let the Qadr is in Majesty Night, which the Qadr, let's say the, the well, let's say like a program of the whole year, has been destined that night. Um, so it's a Majesty Night, which we do as a Muslims. That's why we do. the also encourage us to search for that night to pray for it. If one's um, dua is accepted at that night, mashallah, alhamdulillah, is is a blessed night. Like that's the last 10 days. I know if you pick the right one, if you pick the right day, it's better than a thousand and like 10,000 or something. Um, you praying for 10,000 or something, thousand months. And um, when you pray in like that's the just go to sleep because <laughs> all your prayers are answered. Me, I like. My prayer has been answered because I'm praying for so many things. So <laughs> I have so many things I'm praying for. Well, Laylatul Qadr is a night that Allah wa Taala told us in a surah so called Surah Al Qadr, which is named after that night. And that night, Allah wa Taala says, Laylatul Qadr. He said, Laylatul Qadr, Khairum min alf shahar. It is better than 1,000 months. He didn't say it is equivalent to 1,000 months. He said khayrun. It is better. So the, you know, it is not the, the, the real, you know, figure isn't given. He said it is better than 1,000 nights. And you hardly see those of us who will be able to live their life up to 1,000 months. Khayrun min al 1,000 months. Because that is roughly about 83, you know, plus yes so and what it means is that the reward for a good act done in the night you know during that night the reward is more than the reward you will have for good deeds done for 1000 more than 1000 you know months that is why you know that month is a month that all muslims struggle to be able to to meet and you see some going as far as you know, the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan, they will take the whole of those nights, observing a lot of nawafil. You know, they sleep a little within those nights in order for them to be able to meet that night because of its, you know, blessings. I like to quadri the special night, a night of blessing, a night of where Allah change our faith, our decree, what He has decreed on us. And it's a night where Allah's blessings comes down, like He has said in the verse, two, in the chapter two. Like he sent down His angels to come meet us where we are supplicating and accept all we supplicated for. It's a night of decree. We are allowed to change our decree. Like not um, It's the night um, where would the the, um, the last ten days of the night of the last 10 days of Ramadan, uh, it's the, um, the night where the Quran was revealed. Um, uh, it actually said, um, the night of the of Lilatul Qadri, if you are up that night um, um, praying to Allah, you know, it's worth more than many praying for many months. Um, I know it's the night of majesty, yeah, and then the prayers are answered, yeah. The night that our prayers are answered. Although we don't know, um, we don't really don't know what, we don't know when the night really is, but then it's towards the last 10 days of Ramadan, and all Muslims are supposed to be in the mosque doing itikaf. Um, and that's all I know about the Ratu Qadri, the majestic night. I like the Qadri, night of majesty, night that I know that everything I see definitely is going to, everything I pray for rather definitely going to pass and come to happen. Judging by what the Quran says about Laila al Qadri and uh, some things of the prophets with regards to Laila al Qadri, well, if I want to streamline it, 
in the Quran, there's a particular surah that talks about, I mean, that actually uh, talked about uh, Layla al Qadri, that's Surah al Qadri. Inna Zalna Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Inna Zalna Fi Layla al Qadri. Amad Rakama Layla al Qadri, Layla al Qadri, Khairu Min al Vishar. That's the area. That the night of majesty is better than 1,000 months. And that is where the significance of the light of majesty comes into play. And it shouldn't be toiled with at all. So which is why the attention in code of all Muslims towards Ramadan, especially the last 10 days, has to do with seeking to be able, I mean seeking to, to like be able to meet up with that single night. Because any act you do in that night is equivalent to an act that will have been that, that you would have done for a thousand months. So it makes it really, really significant and very important in the life of every Muslim. Join us we again tomorrow some for more. vegetables such as onions, scallions, and carrots. First, I'm just going to chop up my onions. Muslim lifestyle channel.